Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be doing my budget with me for April. I'm just going to quickly go over where all my money is coming from, um, what I'm obviously going to be budgeting to what envelopes and categories and then going through my monthly planner as well. So this is exciting because this is actually the first um, month of my new planner. I've just got the same one which is the budget planner from Cap DM. Um, I've seen them on Amazon again but they're actually a bit more expensive than what I bought mine so yeah I'm not really sure what's going on there but I got this for £15 originally um, and then I bought this one in October last year just because I knew I wanted to use the same planner but there's plenty of different planners out there so just to kind of have a wee look around and see which one you fancy um, and what suits your budget as well. So for the April I've not really looked at goals. Um, Obviously all of this is the same, I'm just going to be doing tracking all my weekly spends, sinking funds and budgeted and no spends. Um, in terms of what I've got on, I've not really got much. I mean the kids just came off for Easter holidays so they've got two weeks off. So that's running from like today which is the Friday the 31st. Is it 31st? I don't even know. Um, anyway the Friday till the 17th. So that's what's happening there. We've got a hen do which is on the 14th through to the 16th and then I've got Easter on the 9th and then I start my new job on the 24th. Um, nothing else is planned as of yet but we will wait and see because it's early days. Um, my friends like to plan last minute so yeah. Okay so going into what we've got this month. Um, so for myself, I'm actually getting um, one four four seven, and the joint account Ryan's actually putting is what is he putting seventeen hundred? That's it. Okay, where's my calculator? Um, so together these come to 1447 plus 1700 and that's 3147 and our bills in total income to, um, I'm going to just say 1784 because it's actually 50 pence but do you know what, just to make it even, um, it's all good. And then, so we're going to minus that from there. So that's 1784. That's 1363. It's a stuff. So our bills may seem like a lot, but this is actually £500 towards our wedding. Next month, which will be May's pay, like April's end of pay, um, will be the last month that we're paying to the wedding venue. And then it'll just be kind of like everything else that we need to pay for. So we're doing really well with that aspect. Um, and obviously we've got a couple of things that are going on. I did have a question about whether people have got rid of their TV. Um, not TV, but like Virgin or Sky or whatever, because our Sky at the moment is £61. A Virgin, sorry. And they're actually wanting to put it up another £15 despite us being in a contract. And that's it's too much for us to be paying for the TV that we watch. We've got Disney Plus, we've got Netflix, so my question is, what do you guys do for TV? Do you guys have any advice? And yeah, I just, I'm looking to save money there just because I don't think, I mean, 61 to 15, what's that? 71, 76 pounds for television. I just, I don't, no, I don't see it. Um. So yeah, let me know. So anyway, we're going to get into this. So groceries is going to get 90 pounds a week which is D60 for a month, because it's four weeks this month. So we're doing D60. Household, I'm going to put 40, so that's £10 a week. These are generally the same every month, unless I put it up. Um, fuel, because it's only a four week, I'm going to do 140 rather than 160. Miscellaneous is going to get 20. And spending is going to get 40, so that's £60. Days out is going to get 50 as usual. Whenever I actually used 50 last month, it's in the holidays fund. 
and Lucas can get 30 because that worked last week that last uh, last month sorry okay <clears throat> so going on to my kind of priorities I should say so time with friends I like my socials so I'm going to put 50 in there for that um date night and eating out we've kind of been putting in lower amounts in there every month it used to get 50 but because it's been a bit the last couple of months we've not really had many overtime um, I'm going to put just 30 into date night and 40 into eating out. So that's 70. My seasonal, I'm going to put £60. It's the only challenge that I kind of put towards and that'll be for the month. My annuals, I'm going to put 150 on. Um, my 50 envelope... Um, I'm going to put 30 towards it because I want to put something towards it and I'm going to put 20 towards emergency. Ideally, I would like to put 50 towards the 50 envelope, but I'll put extra in it when I get paid from YouTube and my child bam for it as well, so that's fine. Um, mortgage and appliances are not going to get anything this month, I don't think. Neither is Costco. Gifts, we've got a birthday at the end of the month, so I'm going to put 20 in there, but it's before payday. Um, Clothing, I'm going to put 20 in because I need to get some holiday stuff for the kids. School holidays is getting nothing. Health isn't getting anything. Pets not getting anything. Um, garden's not getting anything today. Um, Christmas is needing something. I'm going to put um, 20 into Christmas. Um, let's see, let's see. Car doesn't need anything. Holiday and wedding and home. Right, okay. Um, next. Now, I'm going to put £20 into each of my mum and I and Ryan because we deserve something. <laughs> um, I like to put £20 a month into them, so that's fine. So that's 20 20 and 20 not putting anything in self care because that's at 75. Grace and Lucas get 50, so it's 25 each. And girls' trip, I'm going to put just £10 in it. Again, if I get um, something from YouTube, then I'll put something into that. So we've got 123. I'm going to put £10 in home because there's nothing in there and I just feel like we need something. And got 110 to do holiday and wedding which is kind of like my priorities as well um let's see wedding's my number one priority so i'm going to put 70 in there and that leaves 40 for holiday which again i'll put some more in if i depend on how much i get from the um youtube money so i'm just going to quickly recount this so we've got 1447 plus 1700 minus the bills 1363 and then we've got, oh no, oh yeah so we'll have 1363 left, <laughs> so we've got 360 minus 40 minus 140 minus 60 minus 50 minus 30 minus 20, 20, 50, 20, 20, minus 20, 10, 40, 70, 150, 20, 60, 30, 20. Perfect. Um, also, <laughs> I just want to add that one of my Instagram followers, I think it's Single Mummy Budgets, um, I'll put it in the description anyway, but her son was watching and he actually mentioned to her that actually this button here on this calculator is actually the back button 
which it doesn't look like it so if i put 788 i just need to do that to cancel the mistake um yeah i was mind blown by that i didn't know that at all so anyway, that's my budget for this month um like i said we've not had any extras this month so it's looking a bit sparse ryan and i are both going to new jobs so i'm not really sure what next month's going to be looking like but we will just manage with what we've got um and yeah i hope you all enjoyed and i will speak to you all in my next video bye